Hello friends! Welcome back to my channel. Today I have another Dollar Tree haul and I have a ton of good stuff to show you. So I found some more drink mixes. These are new. The Pure Kick Energy, the Jolly Rancher drink mix, green apple, and this one is the blue raspberry. And then I also found the Sun Kiss Peach that I haven't seen before. There was another one of the Pure Kick Energy ones from Jolly Rancher, but I did not, or no, it was from Sonic. It was the Sonic Limeade, but I did not get that one. Next thing I got are these little candles. I thought the colors were really pretty for spring and summer, and they smell really good. They are small. They're the three-ounce jars. This one is the Yuzu and Aloe, and this one's the Plumeria Sunrise. Very cute, cute little jars. In the sock department, I found the Haribo Crew socks. I found another a pack of the Space Jam. This has the two pairs of socks. I found the Smurfs Crew socks. I love the Smurfs. I used to watch them when I was a little kid. And I found a two-pack of the Avatar socks, which is interesting because I had purchased um, from the Plus section a while ago Avatar socks. So it was neat to see a two-pack for $1.25. Then I got a package of these. They're bar mop dishcloths. There are three of them, and I like them because they feel like really good quality. They don't feel like that... Um, the kind of dish towel that they have at Dollar Tree that like doesn't absorb water. Next thing I found is this jasmine. It's got 20 incense sticks and it comes with the holder. So this is really good for $1.25 to get not only the incense sticks but also the holder. And it is distributed by Greenbrier so it's a Dollar Tree product but that is really a good deal. And I found these cute little gummy bear pens. They do come in four different colors, but I only got three. I skipped out on the blue. I just got the purple, the red, and the green. I think these are so adorable. Dollar Tree comes out with a lot of really cute pens. So those are the ones I got. Dollar Tree has been getting in a ton of really cool bath bombs. These are the ones that I chose, the Blow Pop, the Pez, and the Skittles. They also had Smarties and Hot Tamale. This one I think is the coolest. It's strawberry. The Blow Pop one can be one of four scents or colors. It's a mystery bath bomb. And then this Skittles bath fizz is in mango. I found the Lucky Brand. Tea Tree Oil Foot Spray. This is perfect for summer coming up. Like if your feet get sweaty or whatever, you just spray them. It's so refreshing. Perfect for any time, really. I found some of the Spa Naturals Luxury Collection. This is the Vanilla and Coconut Bath Bombs. It's a set of three. And it is distributed by the Blue Cross Laboratories. So it's not a Greenbrier product. Those. I found another one of the Bidu soaps. This is the Camel Milk Moroccan Clay and Cinnamon. It's the Detox and Balance ones. I really like these soaps. And they originally sell for much more than $1.25. So happy to find that. Then I got one of the April Bath and Shower Gloves. This is a Citrus Infused Exfoliating Bath Glove. These work really well, and like if you use body scrubs, you can wear this while using your body scrub for like a really deep exfoliation. Then I found the Flex brand dry shampoo, instant dry shampoo with argon oil. And this is in a two ounce can. Really cool. I haven't seen Flex products in a long time. I remember Flex products from when I was growing up. In the food section, I found the Skinny Pop popcorn. This is the Cheddar Jalapeno with 47 calories per cup. I like 
spicier stuff sometimes. I love jalapeno things. So I was happy to find that. Then I got another one of the Wiley Wallaby Soft and Chewy Candies. This is the Blueberry Pomegranate. These were featured in a vegan group that I belong to. So yeah, I'm happy every time I find a new flavor of those. Then I found these seasonings and I thought they looked pretty interesting. I like to do a lot of sheet pan meals for my family. Um, there was a couple of vegetarians in our family and then a few meat eaters. So I do like a lot of sheet pans. Some are just the vegetarian or some I'll do a separate one with the meat. But I found these easy sheet pan Kansas City rub and vegetables seasoning mix. And the other one is Easy Sheet Pan Farm Stand Chicken and Vegetable Seasoning Mix, which you can use. You don't have to have meat in it, or you don't even have to have vegetables in it. You just make it however you want to make it. So this is by the Enticingly Easy brand, it says. Here's what it looks like on the back, and it tells you what you will need and the directions. I thought these were really cool. I did visit a Dollar Tree, well not a Dollar Tree, but a few Dollar Trees out of my area. I just went on a business trip with my husband, so we were um, way out of our area where we usually go to Dollar Trees, so we went to some different ones. I got the Fruit Loops Jelly Beans. These just look so cool. I love everything Fruit Loops. And I also found the Jello Jelly Beans. Very cool, and it has lime, cherry, berry blue, strawberry, orange, and lemon in it. Then I thought this was so cute to snack on, like during a movie, like a family movie night. Like if you didn't want actual popcorn, this is the buttered popcorn marshmallows. How cute is that? It's in a cute bag. It also would be a really cool thing to put in, like if you were making like a movie DVD gift basket for someone, like... You could even do that for Easter, like buy a really cool DVD and put in popcorn and put this in. And yeah, I loved it. Then we got some of the tasty cake pies. I don't know why we bought these. They're not the healthiest thing, but they looked so delicious. So we got four of them. We got a lemon pie, a chocolate pie, an apple pie, and a cherry pie. So there's those. And then I have a one last food item, and I'll move on to the other stuff. This is the Vanilla Spice Cheerios. This is the huge family size. So I got the Vanilla Cheerios before, but this one's different. It's the Vanilla Spice. So it has like a different taste to it, which I loved the vanilla ones. And this is in an 18 ounce size box. So definitely a really good value for the dollar twenty-five. And even if you don't like to eat cereal <coughs> excuse me, cereal in the morning, you can use this to make like a trail mix or something like that. Or even something I like to do is make cereal bars. And you can make cereal bars out of any kind of cereal. I found these really cute jumbo erasers and they have a lot of different varieties of these. But um, my kids chose the Pringles and I chose the Eggo waffle ones. I just thought these were so adorable. Something on my wish list that I found were these Bic long lasting. These are um, wrap free crayons. There's 24 in a box, so I bought two boxes for my two youngest children to color with. Really thought these were super cool. Super happy to find those. Then my little girl, she picked out these little T.Y. Um, well, they're not Beanie Babies because they don't have beans in them, but these little T.Y. plushies that you can hook on to things. And since we're going to be doing some traveling and things, she might hook them onto like her backpack and her suitcase. So definitely really cute little, really cute little things. I did find some other bath bombs. These are like the egg-shaped scented bluey bath bombs. It says that they are a fruity mix scented. They are very small. 
but they are perfect to put in Easter baskets. And I thought they might be good because even though they're small, like kids don't have as much water in their bath as adults do. So it might work out perfectly. Got some Legos. These are, well, the make it blocks. This is just the cutest little truck. I got that for my little girl. And then I found all the flowers. There's that one. Like these are actually a perfect gift to even give to a teenager or an adult in an Easter basket. Like you could put all four of it in there and just you can make like a whole like flower and Lego themed gift basket. That would be cool. The next thing I got is the Transformer Rescue Bot Academy. This is the Amazing Bubble Frisbee that actually comes with some of the bubble solution. I'm going to take my kids to a park that we go to and play with this with them when it's uh, warmer out. Oh, I did get more food stuff. I got the personal pan-sized ultra-thin pizza crust to come in a package. And I just thought this would make a really easy lunch with my kids. You can make it with the pizza sauce and the cheese, like a traditional pizza and whatever toppings you want. Or you can even spread it like with the refried beans and stuff and make like Mexican pizzas. Or you could even just toast it and then put hummus and veggies on it for like a vegan type pizza. Which is probably what I'll do. And then I got some of the sugar-free Russell Stover's. The dark chocolate one looked really good. I don't think those are new, but they were looking good. Last, I have some books to share with you. I got this for my 17-year-old daughter who likes to read cozy mysteries. And she actually has a cat that looks exactly like the cat on the cover. This is a cat cafe mystery. Not everyone has nine lives. Claws for Alarm by Kate Conti. So Dollar Tree has been getting in so many, many good books. I haven't purchased all of them because I do have a good supply of TBR books already at home. But the ones I really thought were interesting I got. This one's by Zoe Whittall, The Spectacular. It's a novel. It looks really neat. There's a lot of praise for it on the back. This is definitely one that would be far more than $1.25, but I'm not going to peel off the sticker to see. Then this is a hardback, Once a Liar by A.F. Brady. So this probably regularly retailed for, it says $26.99 in the U.S. That's just crazy. I will not pay that much. I would rather go to like a library, a little free library, or find them at Dollar Tree. So here's praise for one of A.F. Brady's other books. Really, I love a mystery. Really, really good quality for $1.25. Really good book. Then this one is actually, I don't know if you can see on the side. This is a Disney book. It's called A Circle of Elephants. And it's a hardback. I will be doing this as a read aloud with my homeschool kids. Thought it was really cool. It's got an endorsement by Jane Goodall. It says it regular, re regularly retails in the United States for $16.99. This is like a pretty book, too. Like, it's just, I don't know, the cover and everything is very, very artistic, very nice. I like it. So that is everything I have to share with you guys today in my Dollar Tree haul. I hope that you are all having a wonderful week. I just got home from our trip. It was actually cut short because they finished the project faster than they thought they would. So I will see you all later. Bye.